Welcome to Eat Well and Be Well. I'm Karen Armstrong. Today we're in my kitchen and I'm going to make the most delicious turkey chili. It's all healthy. Now over the course of this show I've introduced you to some foods and explained why they're good for you. But today I've got a few extra highlights that I definitely want to introduce you to. Let's start off with the kidney beans. Did you know that kidney beans are very high in vitamin K? Vitamin K has outstanding benefits for the brain and nervous system. It's an awesome source of thiamine, which is critical for brain cell and cognitive function, which we see a lot of concern with folks dealing with senility and Alzheimer's disease. It's great, great, great nutrition for your bone health. It's also um, filled with fiber and high protein, in fact, Kidney beans are equivalent to meat in its level of protein. So it's a wonderful substitute for all of your vegetarian friends. And then we have the black beans. Black beans are loaded with fiber, folate, protein, antioxidants, and vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is fabulous for the nervous system. Okay, we are going to use uh, cilantro today, celery, corn, onions, garlic, this is a little parsley. Here are spices too. We have oregano, we have cumin, which I'm going to put in the food processor and grind. We have basil, we have chili powder, and we have thyme. And we've got stewed tomatoes and as we know tomatoes have lycopene in them this is awesome for your cardiovascular health and did you know that tomatoes actually help dissolve gallstones okay so let's get cooking it's so easy we're going to start with ground turkey this is one pound of ground turkey and what we want to do is keep it on a very low heat and we're going to brown this and just after it gets slightly brown, doesn't even have to be fully cooked, we'll add the onions and the fresh cut garlic. I'm using one medium white onion today, and I'm also going to be using about two tablespoons full of the chopped garlic. And you can always pepper this too, but I always try to save my seasoning for afterwards when everything is done. Okay, let's go ahead and add our onion. I've already chopped it up and blend that in there. And then let's put in our garlic too. Just have to fold it in. And while this cooks, I'm going to start the food processor with some of our other vegetables that will go into the chili. So let's put this on the back side. On low. Just let it sit there for a minute. Okay, the next step is we want to take our celery, which I've chopped up in smaller pieces, but I want to put it in my food processor so it gets nice and um, smooth and that will help it cook a little faster. I'm all for fast because I always seem to be in a hurry. I'm sure you feel the same way. Okay, it doesn't take much for celery. All right, so what we're going to do is start adding these ingredients into our large pot. Here we go. So let's dump the celery in there. And that was about four stalks of celery that was washed. And then let's dump in our kidney beans, our black beans. And this was about 30 ounces of the kidney beans and about 15 ounces of black. And let's dump in some corn, make it real southwestern. And ooh, our tomatoes, I've pureed these tomatoes. That's about 30 ounces of tomatoes. Then, while our meat, let's take a peek at our meat, turn that over, continues to cook. I am going to mince up some of our spices. I love 
love this recipe. Alright, let's rinse this out and let's get our spices going. Instead of using my food processor, these spices are so small, I'm just going to use my coffee grinder. Alright, this is cumin and I have the whole seed, so what I'm going to do is just take two teaspoonfuls and then I'm going to take the thyme, one teaspoonful. This is dried basil. We have about one teaspoonful. I love basil. Let's do one and a half. Uh, and then we have oregano. Oregano, let's do two. Oregano flakes. I'm being really generous with that, aren't I? I'm going to save my chili powder for last, so let's just hook this baby up. You always want to keep your poultry utensils separate from everything else that you're working with, just for health purposes. Okay, I'm going to blend these spices together with all of the other vegetables. And then, I'm going to be adding our cilantro and our parsley, but I always mince those separately as well because they have more, uh, more moisture in them. Then next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our cilantro and our parsley and we're going to mince that separately than the spices because it has more moisture in it. So here's our cilantro. Just a big pinch of the cilantro right into the food processor or again in this case because it's so small. Just use a little coffee grinder. Woo! I'm crazy. And then also a nice big pinch of your parsley right in there. Oh, that cilantro it smells incredible. Okay, and then let's put this in our mixture. There we go. See how quick and easy this is? It will feed your whole family. Alright, take a look at that. And all this is going to get mixed up and our meat is done and then all we have to do is add our chili powder. All right. Now, oh, the meat's done. What we're going to do is we're going to eliminate any of the fat in the meat before it goes in our chili. So let's do that right now. Okay, I've drained the fat from the turkey. But one of the reasons why I love using ground turkey in place of beef is because there isn't much fat. And let's go this way so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, look at those onions, the garlic. Everything looks so good. And what we're going to do is bring this to a boil we bring it to a boil, we'll just blend in our chili powder and then season with maybe a little pepper. Now the great thing about chili is it can be as hot or as mild as you and your family want it to be. One of the optional things that you can put into chili is red or green peppers. I personally don't like red or green peppers so I don't add them. But you're welcome to throw in your chili pot whatever you want. This is just the basic and it's my specialty. Okay, let's bring this to a boil. Final ingredient in the pot is the chili powder, about two tablespoons. Goes right in. We're just going to blend this together. Two to three minutes. I've already done a little taste test. It's pretty amazing. You know, just for good measure, let's put in some black pepper. 
don't even need any salt. Just a little black pepper. Oh, they're gonna love this. This is just packed with nutrients, and vitamins. Oh, look at that. You know, the nice thing about chili too is that you can add whatever you'd like to it. The family all has different tastes. So some like the raw onions to garnish, others like the avocado, and I always like my cheese right on top. This is Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. It is not sour cream. I've learned to substitute the Greek yogurt instead of sour cream because the yogurt is high in acidophilus, which is great for the digestive system, and it's also lower in fat. So this is my bowl of chili, and I'm going to make it my way. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the cheese right on top. I'm gonna to garnish with the avocado and take just a little bit of the yogurt. Right there. All right. And I'm ready to go snuggle up in a blanket with my awesome turkey chili. So for now, Remember to eat well and be well. I'm Karen Armstrong.